We want to factor this completely. That means start by taking out the greatest common factor, which is 3. When we do that, when we divide the first term by 3, we're left with x to the fourth. When we divide the second term by 3, 3 divided by 3 is 1. Now we want to see if we can break down this any further. It's subtraction of two terms. That means the difference of cubes and the difference of squares. Since 4 is an even power, that would mean the difference of squares. So we need the square root of the first term, which would be x squared, and the square root of the second term, which is 1. So that 3 is our first factor, but we can break the second factor down into the sum and difference of the square roots, which would be x squared plus 1 times x squared minus 1. Again, we look at each of these factors of each two terms. The sum could only be the sum of cubes, but they're not perfect cubes. The difference could be the difference of squares or the difference of cubes. They are both perfect squares again, so I, I, we identify our new a and b. a is the square root of the first term, which is x. b is the square root of the second term, which is 1. So our first factor is 3. Our second factor cannot be broken down any further, so we leave x squared plus 1. But our third factor can be broken down as the difference of squares, which is the sum and the difference of their square roots. Now checking each of our four factors, none of them can be broken down any further. The ones with two terms, none of them are sum or difference of cubes or difference of squares. So this is factored completely.